When it comes to the inventory management area within MYB Advanced, it's really one of the strong points of the system. And the way in which it's actually configured is firstly, we can look at the warehouse management area. And this allows us to actually set up multiple warehouses, so based on what we actually need to have in there. And you can see in here I've got Auckland and Christchurch, and I've even got an outsourced warehouse. Now, within those warehouses, we can tag them to a branch, which means that for a balance sheet, we can actually then track it um, for that individual branch. But also, what we can do for the different warehouses is we can actually set up, if we choose to, default GL accounts. So in this case, the inventory on hand could be going to a different GL account based on each warehouse. Now, the other thing that we can do within a warehouse is we can actually set up locations and locations are either individual areas within the um, warehouse itself or bays or even they can be bin codes. Now this means that when we receive them in we can bring them into these different locations and ship them out of the different locations and we can even dictate as well in the case of this loading bay that we can sell from here but we can't actually receipt into here. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can also set a pick priority if we choose to, to say that when we're generating our pick lists for shipping, it will pick this location first ahead of this location. Now, when it comes down to the stock management of the system, um, there are two areas in which we can actually look at. And one is non-stock items, so there are actually two separate areas. And with non-stock items, these can be different things such as um, if you're charging for an hourly rate for consultation, you can set that up and charge out a rate for the customers. Or if you choose to, you can actually set up, for example, expenses. So if you were actually doing a telecom expense, you can set that up with the correct general ledger account to automatically go on to the AP bill. Now, when it comes down to the stock side of things, we've actually got a different area to do with stock items and when you add a stock item you then add an item class and an item class is for all intents and purposes a stock group so in this case I have desktops and laptops and printers and what that allows me to do is it allows me to set defaults for this product now those defaults can include general ledger accounts as we saw a moment ago on the warehouse but in this case we could set a sales account or even a cost of goods sales account against it. We can also set a valuation method so of either standard, average, FIFO or specific and this means for each individual item we can actually track that cost and it tracks it on a warehouse level as well. Now the other thing we can do as well is we can actually set up base units and units of measure. So if we are stocking this item, then you can see that we stock it as PCs and we sell it as PCs, but when we purchase, we purchase as a pallet, which has a conversion factor of 12 PCs. Now, when it comes to the actual stocking of items, there are several methods in which we can actually get stock into the system. We can either enter a manual receipt, um, or we can do it via our purchase orders area, or our third option, which is under Create Purchase Orders, which is a pool of all of the uh, methods um, of ordering, and then it can generate either a single purchase order or multiple purchase orders to different suppliers. Now, the way in which this works is it can be either based on the fact that we are raising sales orders and tagging them as back-to-back -back ordering, so we can send it directly from our supplier to the customer, or we could even run a routine which is our prepare replenishment and that will automatically calculate based on what we've set up in the system to bring through what stock we actually need. Now what this means is that if I have on my replenishment info tab I have a replenishment class I can set it up for each warehouse with their own preferred supplier and each warehouse can have its a different um, supplier based on where they are in the country and you can also set up as well different classes so if you wanted to receive transfers from a main warehouse 
to um, other warehouses you could do that as well or just purchase direct to that warehouse now you can also put that in manually or you can get the system to calculate it based on the history and it will populate that for you based on um, your previous sales and it will actually allow you to say this is what I actually need now the other part of the inventory management is all centering around our physical inventory count or stock takes now the stock takes can be set up um, to do a full inventory count or we could actually do a monthly inventory count which is based on a cycle that we can tag against each individual stock item or if I really wanted to I could actually do it based on what we call our stock item class and it then means that for laptops these are all of my laptops currently within the Auckland warehouse and I can proceed via that. Now as you can see we've got lot and serial tracking which allows us to actually set up on a product whether or not it is serial tracked or whether or not it is lot tracked and we can actually have different variate we can have a single variation on each stock item and it means that when we then issue it out we can choose how to issue it so whether yet again it's a FIFO basis or even if we want to do expirations especially for things like lots where we can then send out the items before they expire or find out which ones are going to expire now the other thing that we can also do is we can also run off um, stock valuation reports as you would imagine and the way in which we do this is we have um, default reports that are already in the system but for normal stock checking we can actually check via our generic inquiry and if we have a look at an inventory summary report and I just pick this item here it'll automatically show you what items we've got in which warehouses and if I click on expand by lot and serial number it will then give us extra details based on each individual serial number now if we wanted to send simply see uh, inventory evaluation report we could just click on that and we could just then run it for a warehouse for Auckland and it now gives us the information of the total cost for Auckland and that concludes the inventory management portion